Okay, today is the day that the hatchlings, they're two weeks, almost three weeks, are just going to be moved just outside of their brooder. So no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't keep their feet clean. So before we move them out into a larger space, because they're large, larger now, I'm going to be doing, with help, cleaning their feet. I don't think they're going to like it, but I'm going to put warm water in here for a bit of a soak. And I'll have paper towels to wipe them if, it, if I need. And then a tiny squirt of ivory in some warm water here. And then a final rinse, which is a couple drops of iodine in uh, the final, and then probably set um, paper towels just to set them on just for a few seconds to, to drain it and then just let them go. Now this is uh, the washer. I'm gonna bring everything as soon as I get the water over here. So this is the Urban Quail Ranch and we've got some netting up. This is the brooder. I've already put out one of the waters and I'll have to change the water again in a few hours or something, but, um, and I've got a new um, feeder set up. Likely I can put more, more feeders and I got one of their little sand baths. So I'm about to sprinkle all over the place this. Um, it's actually gonna get messy on the outside we used to have something along the bottom here, and it, it's not something that I have done to put plastic or anything. Maybe the next time we will. But it's easy to, you know, it's going to be messy, but it's easy to sweep it up, and maybe we'll do it better next time. So these guys are um, doing okay. And we're going to be setting up the brooder to be a bit hotter just in this area and testing it for um, two days. Expecting um, in about three days the new hatch. And they will go in this little brooder and they'll be tiny. So you guys are big now, eh? They're not fighting, they're okay. They give just enough space, but um, it's time for them to get into a bigger world and. I'll in, we'll just quickly inspect each one of them. They're really, by now, used to our hands. We can pick them up without them struggling. I mean, that's the rule. I mean, they maybe some might this time. I don't know. But they trust us. We've built up trust over the last two weeks going on three. And um, uh, Rick's going to be down soon. It's actually like really dark and raining outside and it was 80 um, on the humidity uh, early this morning or last night or something and we put on the dehumidifier so in the basement it's now about 50. It started to get hot. Actually I'm feeling hot. kind of wish I didn't wear like, you know, my sweatpants. So it's okay for them. They like the heat. Probably I will set up they're washing like in a row here and then hopefully they're not gonna freak out too much the reward is a bigger place and they'll be curious and they'll be happy hopefully um, and we're ready for them to pot fly because usually they get in general quail will be happy and they'll fly or they might get startled and they might fly fly okay so um, I guess I need my hands so the next video um, probably will be them in their larger digs.